I'm Ian, I'm the countryside manager for Herefordshire and if you'd come here 10 years ago what you'd have seen is a really dense conifer plantation and we embarked on a, on a project with our partners, the Natural England and Forestry Commission to restore this back to its former wood pasture. Now wood pasture is quite a, a broad term I guess but for us it kind of means it's a third of tree cover, a third open land and a third scrubby kind of species so bracken, brambles, gorse that sort of thing and what that does really is create a really rich mosaic of habitat that's really important for lots of our native wildlife. So in a very short space of time, like I said about 10 years really, we've seen so many of our species move back in. So now we have dormice here which is really good indicator species, we have every kind of reptile, so slow worms, grass snakes, frogs, toads, newts and the most elusive of all, if you're really lucky you'll see adders here. So many different species moved in so quickly. And that happened really from day one of restoration. So when we first filed the conifers and then we had a big stump grinder come in and grind all the stumps out, that was really important to create a habitat that's a little bit easier to manage in the future. But almost immediately we saw hares running across and we hadn't seen hares at Croft for a long time. So it just shows how quickly that when you start restoring this habitat, how quickly wildlife moves back in. To manage this habitat, our rangers do a great job, but our best tools are the cows we have here, um, grazing them. So we have a, a real good mixture of animals that kind of roam freely around the wood pasture site, and they do a fantastic job of just keeping the undergrowth under control. Like I said, I want that scrubby habitat, but I think it's also important to have that open habitat too. So um, yeah, they, they do a really great job. And that's all done by a local farmer who brings them in the springtime and, and takes them away in the winter. So when you walk up through the Fishpool Valley, it's a series of dams and cascades. It's really important to the castle. So that historically, that would have been the place where Lord and Lady Croft would have taken people to show off those big carriage rides that look down on the pools. But they're in quite a poor state of repair due to flooding and I guess climate change. So we have, we have now much more extreme weather events. So lots of the dams are overtopping and eroding. So we embarked on like a, a large project to restore those dams and cascades and to make the valley a lot safer so the water can pass through much freer and easier and that's a really important habitat. In the Fishbowl Valley we have white called crayfish which are incredibly rare and incredibly protected but we have a good thriving population there which we manage and that's a very short walk from here so you can walk through the Fishbowl Valley and into, into the wood pasture. We're really lucky, so in some areas of the wood pasture, the ancient trees still survive, they're still here. You know, trees that, it's hard to put an age on them, isn't it, but four, five, six, seven, maybe 800 years old, some of the oldest trees. And you think of all of the wildlife that one of those single trees can support. It's like thousands of species. You know, that's a, a real historic part of the, of the Croft Estate. And I would really recommend, if you come here in the springtime, to see the bluebells, particularly if you go around the interpretation barn we have, if you walk around there, the bluebells underneath the veteran trees are really something to see. So we've definitely seen, since we've restored this habitat, a massive increase in the biodiversity gain in the wood pasture and for the, for the estate in general. In many ways, this is the place where wildlife lives, but it also fans out into the wider estate and into the commons that surround us, so off our land also. So I think this has been almost like a little magnet where we've created this beautiful habitat that draws the wildlife in, but it also allows the wildlife to expand out. So there's been a, a gain far beyond our boundaries for this project.